Hello Warfighters, War and Cell, welcome to the first episode in a series where I'm going to be playing in a milsim, particularly the 183rd Air Assault. Now I'm very excited for this for a few reasons. One, a lot of you have been asking in the comment section for me to do something like this, where it's like multiplayer based, uh, and I don't know what the missions are. I mean, that's a really, really big part of Arma is the multiplayer aspect. I mean, you think about it, you got King of the Hill. I remember reading there's like a new Capture the Flag coming out. You've got Battle Royale, all this type of stuff, but a huge portion of it too is Milsims. And if you don't know what Milsims are, a Milsim is basically like military simulation. That's a shortened version of Milsim. Uh, you have people who are in the military, who have been in the military. You have people like me who uh, have an interest in military type stuff, who, you know, and people who don't. They just want to have a multiplayer experience. Uh, all come together and participate in operations that try to simulate military operations as much as possible. So we'll do patrols, we'll do last stand type of stuff, we'll go on the attack on various positions. It's a ton of fun and you learn a lot. Like I remember telling me a long, uh, somebody telling me a long time ago that if you really want to get good at Arma, join a Milsim because you will learn tactics that you can use in the game and that's very true. So I played with these guys over a year ago and I'm glad that I'm able to get together with these guys again. Uh, because for me, this is like the best type of mix. You've got people who uh, are really good at what they do. They take this seriously, but it also has a, a casual feel to it sometimes as well. You'll find milsims that have various levels of seriousness to it. Uh, you know, you've got a good balance like this one. You've got some that are completely casual. You've got others too where even outside of the game, you have to call people by their rank, uh, which I don't think I would enjoy that too much. But anyway... So, part of joining a milsim, you have to go through basic combat training, BCT, and also advanced infantry training in a lot of cases to AIT. The whole purpose of this is to try and get everybody acclimated to ARMA, to understand how, to, how the unit operates, uh, so everybody's on the same page. So again, like if you're new to ARMA, this is a great thing to do, because you're going to learn a lot about how the, how the game works, and you know, learn new things along the way. So I'm going to show you what happened to me during BCT and AIT. Uh, one of the things that I'll do, as you guys probably know, this is down in the corner. You see like a little guy. That's me. Uh, when you see that, that's when I'm doing the commentary. If you don't see that, that's me talking in game because I know it can be confusing uh, to know when I'm doing this commentary and when I'm in game. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll cut it here and then I'll just pop in periodically to give you guys some more information on what's going on and what happened. So enjoy. Welcome to the 183rd Aerosol. Uh, just going to do BCT but we're going to run AIT at the same time and uh, just cover basically everything so you guys will be fully qualified um, infantry soldiers for everything and you can then go into a unit straight away ready for the op tomorrow if you're going to be on it. Okay, next slide bitch. So the first thing that we did, as you saw, is we got together in like a conference room and we went through a presentation that talked about some of the weapons that we were going to be using in the 183rd. We also talked about some of the rules and regulations, of course, of being in that unit. But once that was finished, we ended up going to the shooting range to be able to see exactly how good of shots that we were. And we were at various ranges. We started off at 100 meters uh, kneeling, and then we went back to 200 meters. We went prone, and then we went back to 300 meters. We were prone again, but we were able to stabilize our weapons. At every single uh, position, we got 10 shots to be able to fire down range. And on the target, there's... Three points, of course, for the bullseye, two points for the ring outside of that, one point for the ring outside of that one, and then, of course, if you don't get it in the target, you get zero uh, points. And so that's all totaled together to be able to see exactly how good of a shot that you are. And since I played Arma for a long time, you know, I got a pretty good score. It wasn't the best, of course, but uh, still halfway decent. So I was pretty excited about that. If you don't take a knee, then lower your weapon. So the next thing that we did is we had our two instructors, Ashby and Simix, be able to show us what bounding is. Now, I've known what bounding is before, but in case you're not familiar with what bounding is, it's basically you've got one person or you know a group of people who are firing at the enemy while another group of people run past them, about 10, 15, 20 meters, whatever you decide. And then they go prone, open fire on the enemy, and the group that was firing originally, they get up, and they move past the group that is now firing on the enemy, and you switch back and forth. And the whole purpose of that is you continue to move while still providing fire you know, against the enemy. And so we got a chance to be able to put that into practice here, and you guys will see how, how bounding goes and how we ended up doing. Keep going, hun move, hun move. Hun, 
you're not suppressing fire, you're moving with uh, so. Set. Roger, bounding. So blue team's moving together, they're, they're returning fire, right? Blue team set, red set. team go. Roger, bounding. Red team bound up. Roger, bounding. Roger. <laughs> Shit. The next part of BCT took us to the weapons range to be able to fire some of the weapons that are on top of the Humvees. Like right now, I'm firing the Mark 19. We also had the M2. And there's other weapons, of course, that we fired as well. This is a great opportunity for those who don't play Arma nearly as much as I do to be able to get some experience with these weapons. And so it was great to be able to fire all of them, be able to talk about, of course, when we want to use them, convoy tactics, and other things like that because that's of course a big part of being on patrol being in an air assault unit i mean you obviously need to understand how to use the weapons on the vehicles and stuff so the next phase here once we understood the weapons on top of the humvees we actually went through a driving course to see how good we were at this so here we go i'll show you what my driving skills are like no guys we were just using these humvees in training just for uh to show you what it's like really when we go on operations and tours we will be using mraps possibly uh, we may use the humvees we do not know yet but it's it's a lot easier to maneuver for the humvees around corners but when it comes to off-roading like this the mraps better because of the high clearance though the problem with the MRAP is obviously maneuverability. It is quite maneuverable, but it's not as maneuverable as a Humvee. Okay. Simix, do I get extra points for drifting through these? To be fair, that thing is a fucking uh, tank. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is true. The uh, bigger the vehicle, more armor. But also, you do you lose some things and you gain some things. I've been with Summers yesterday, and we've been booking these ramps. Oh my god, you should see. Yeah, you should have seen how far Right, that was good. Right, next vehicle thing. approach. Simmox, <laughs> when you get back, uh, just jump out the Humvee and jump into Thangy's Humvee, okay? Raj. You want me to just wait here? Next Humvee, come in. Park it somewhere. Park it somewhere. There you go, just there. A bit forward. Thank you. Day noodle. Day noodle. <laughs> In Milsims, patching yourself up is a huge thing that you have to know how to do. And most Milsims are going to use mods to be able to manage the medical system. And that, of course, holds true in the 183rd as well. So in this phase, we learned how to patch ourselves up, when to use morphine, when to use the Turner kit, when to call a medic, just stuff that's going to keep us alive. Because trust me, you're going to see in a lot of these operations, I'm going to get hit and I'm going to be spending some time patching myself up. Hopefully... I'll be able to edit through that, though, because it can be a pretty time-consuming process, especially if I get hit in a lot of places at once. Uh, the next phase, though, of BCT put us in a helicopter. No big surprise, because insertion via helicopter is a huge part of air assault. Um, but we learned what do you do uh, to be able to enter a helicopter what commands do you have to wait for? What about getting out of the helicopter, providing 360 degree security? That type of stuff. At the same time, we're, be tra we're being transported to the next phase of our training, which is going to go over some more advanced type of tactics, especially with breaching, operating in an area, and stuff like that. It's, it's going to be a big part of what you'll see in those operations as well. So we landed, we got to practice our 360 security, and then it was on to that training that I was just mentioning right before about breaching and communication as you're going through in an area. All right, you guys, the... get behind me in the column. Snack Brown knows what's up, so. All right, All right watch in All front. Right. There's a blue right fence compound to your left. That's the compound you need to clear and the building that's inside the compound as well. All right, guys, we're going to go through here, use the fence as cover. Watching right Watch in left. front. Hey, right, guys, hop over here. We're going to line up on the left side of this fence, and we'll breach in. Let me know when you guys are ready. Watching right. Set. All right, I'm going to breach left. All right, here we go. Clear left. Right. 
All right, we got a building off to our left and off to the front here. I'm going to hug this one to the right. I almost did. It's like, wait, is that a target? Oh, no, it's me. Uh, All right. Watching left. All right, guys. Oh, we got a technical up ahead, and we've also got a contact, too. This might not be the best way for us to go. Actually, let's push it. I head back and push through the house. Target right. Looks like you left. Scared me a little bit. Alright guys, <laughs> stack up on this one here. Set. Alright, you guys ready? Yep. Alright, I'll go in left. Breaching now. Going right. Clear left. Clear right. Watching the door off to the left. Watching behind. All right, who wants to go up with me? On your stack bar. All right, ready? Here we go. Going up. Got somebody in the window right in front of me. It's Ashby. Okay. Fucking snagging. Contact right. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Contact. We're oh, all clear upstairs. Save me, please. Yeah. You get him yeah, a call. I'm going to watch the, the stairs, place. make sure nobody comes up. Aw, oh, dude. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the last bit of training that was required for me was to be able to go through and learn how to use my anti-take weaponry. Uh, so what we did is we went to a range where there were some trucks that were laid out on the horizon, and we learned what do you call out, you know, is your back blast clear, that type of stuff. So, of course, it was cool because we got an example from our instructors on how to do it, and then we, of course, had to go through and do it ourselves. So in this next little part, I'll show you some of the training that we got and, of course, how I ended up doing as well. Far left, Roger. Priming. AT4 or rocket, whatever you want to call it. Range was around 350. Stand by, stand by. Range about 350. Roger, set. Back blast clear. Back blast clear. Uh, back blast clear. Firing, firing, firing. Okay. What do you guys think? All right, like, right. Wait. Rocket's coming out. Rocket's coming out. Right. Clear back blast. Wait one. Wait one. <laughs> right. Uh, bearing two, two seven. Right, You'll go. have a vehicle medium range. Uh, looks like transport truck. Exact range is three five five. All right, that one that's uh, a little bit closer to us. Uh, the further away one nearest the road. Oh, gotcha. Um, but still this side of the road. Gotcha. Backpass okay. is not clear. Landing. I knew something like that would happen. Right, get the fuck out of the way. The <laughs> backpass back will just shoot you anyway. Backpass is not clear. Backpass is not clear. All right. Backpass is no clear. Backpass is no clear. All right. You are free to fuck. All right, priming. Priming rock. Firing, firing, firing. Target hit. Hey, look, you didn't kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was basically it for BCT and AIT. Afterwards, I still got an opportunity to be able to specialize in a position if I wanted to, like if I wanted to be a grenadier or an automatic rifleman, all that type of stuff. And I love, I love fighting with the AR, so I decided to go through some AR training, and we learned some great things too. Ashby is actually an automatic rifleman in real life, and so we got to learn about uh, talking guns, basically, where you've got uh, two automatic riflemen that are firing, alternating each other, so that way if one person uh, has to reload. The other one is still firing, and there's no disruption, whatever, of the fire downrange. Also learned a pretty cool stat that 70% of the fire team's uh, fire comes from the AR, so that was pretty cool, too. So, again, got a chance to be able to practice docking guns, and that's what this is right here.
With that, my training was complete, and I became an official member of the 183rd Air Assault, and I'm now able to participate in operations, which is great because I can record that, and of course, edit it and turn it into missions for you. It is a blast. I mean, this is a great group. I mean, you heard us laugh quite a bit. We learned some really, really great things, and always, I'm going to be a better ARMA player for having gone through and participated in this milsim. So again, if you want to be able to, to join the 183rd, play with me, you very well can. 183rdairassault.com is the website but anyway that's gonna be it here for this episode more of course to come later on so make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already you guys can follow me on facebook by searching war is hell gaming you can follow me on twitter at underscore war is hell and of course donate to the patreon to be able to help me out and produce some content for this channel as well but war is hell you don't have to worry because warfighters i've got your six